Hello guys, today we're gonna uh, take how to print a string and the first program we're gonna take is how to print it using uh, Airvine and remember Airvine uses well micros or let's say procedures to make it easier it's it's considered as a high level assembly and that's why we need a library and our library is gonna be include Airvine 32.inc and we're gonna have our dot data section dot code section main process and here we have exit main and process and end main this is the how uh, an assembly uh, code looks like in our dot data section we're gonna define our string string name it one string one we define byte we can do it this way or define word or define double word or define quad word or we can say byte so either way define byte and we write our string gate albedarin let's say okay remember we can use single quotes or double quotes single quotes will work also uh -huh. 10 or or we can use instead of it 0 ah <coughs> which is 10 and d uh, 0 bh and remember the zeros here are for what just because we have a letter here whenever i have a hexadecimal letter not a number so if i had 9 I won't put a zero. This is not included. I only need the 13. This is 13. And this is 10. And this is 10. And let's see without this zero. And remember, we can define a D, D byte, D word, uh, double word, that's four byte, and a quad, define quad. Or we can use what? Uh, by uh, we can have them capital small word double word and quad word this is a comment a semicolon is a comment in and now we can do more dx and what do we do offset the address of what uh, of string one and now I'll do call write a string let's save this Which one was it? Was it this one? Okay. Program string let's name. And you have to save it dot asm dot assembly. You have to. Um now let's uh and there's a, a lecture lecture 13 if you go to it shows you how to configure all this
so this shows no errors now I run it and here we go and the 0dh 0ah is for the carriage return and for the new line carriage return and new line those two so this is this is just a, a small example call right interior is what rc out like c out it goes and grabs whatever address it has in edx and prints from there till it sees what 0a8 0dh and here for example let's say i don't have those and i have string 2 word uh, Ten and thirteen. Remember, we can use ten and thirteen also. File save it. Line four missing single or double quote. Okay. Constant value to uh, it's not saying it's saying constant value. Oh, man. Constant value too large. Maybe it didn't like the byte thing, okay. The word, so I put it as a byte. Okay, took it. No errors. And now we run it. And you're gonna see it's gonna print both of them. See? Though I only said what? Well, move EDX offset string one. It's gonna go because they're saved in contiguous in memory beside each other. So it's gonna go start from string one till it sees what? Well, the 10, 13. this is the first example and the second example now i'm going to show you how to do all this in a low level assembly meaning there is no uh, we won't have an include library we won't have a core write string we can use here load effective address edx let's try it load effective address edx and string one and this is a pointer actually no errors good extract with the load effective address when we use load effective address we don't use the offset oops sorry we don't know and use the offset part 
those other thing and now we're going to do it in low level assembly 